and are you refreshed yes. good now what it's not just the desire that you have but it's your readiness to hear and play with us and take it a little further forward we will discuss what's on your mind even if you don't come to the hot seat love you I would have probably created a whole scenario of what was going to be done to me by chopping those trees down like my imagination in a good form is takes me to great places my imagination when I'm in pain when I'm having fear creates more well that's logical isn't it that law of attraction gets hold of it and it becomes more but before you go further we, we want to contemplate something with you do you think that consideration of things is a helpful thing yes so you are in agreement that step one matters and that it requires contrast and differences and choices and thinking about things so we are not at all wanting to talk you out of your step one moments where you're considering and actually creating we just want you to realize that there's a point at which thinking about it is no longer helpful so even in the step one part of the equation you can be in alignment you can be in the receiving mode and that's what we've begun calling step five if you've been listening to us for a while step one is the contrast causes you to launch rockets of desire consideration deciphering stewing chewing it over step two is source responds and the vortex is created and the vibrational version of it happens step three is you get into that satisfying receptive mode where ideas flow to you step four is you're really good at that that's all step four is you're really good at that and I think I've actually felt that and then step part. five is yeah. when you're back in the consideration mode and not beating up on yourself yes I also almost feel like within the pain and fear part that I feel excited that something new is coming because it I have now noticed that through going through that process without getting too crazy about it new things come out of always that process always. and so it that I have at least made that far <laughs> you know, in, in, uh, so what's in on your mind something about my understanding of I'm usually when I'm up here I've been up here a few times and it's about it seems very painful to be in pain it fear and pain to me is a pretty but, crippling thing and yet I've I I also noticed but the, do you know why that comes because somebody's trying to get to the bottom of something yes yeah in other words if you don't stew on it if you don't brood over it if you don't get all defensive sometimes you'll have a discussion or something with someone and it won't go the way you ultimately want it to go maybe you behave in a way that you're not happy about later well thinking about it and regretting it and brooding over it or being defensive about it that just holds you in a resistant mode but if you accept that that conversation painful as it was was still valuable because it was a step one moment and so clarity did come out of it and while your inner being so far is the only one that's got the clarity it's lining it up for you to receive it too so after a little while you just start realizing there's nothing serious going on you all beat up on yourself so easily and so unnecessarily absolutely yes it's true so uh, I, I, you want to get to the bottom of why that is I, no <laughs> no I sometimes wonder though and I've heard you say it in the past of something about feeling uh, I also feel great joy at times great yes. beautiful wonderful yes. joy about life and, yes. and that that is the new contrast that I come from that the, when I'm you know so it, it, well we know that we've been watching a lot of you and the more understanding you get about this deliberate creative process and the more you allow your desires to evolve and get bigger a big desire when you're focused in opposition to it is strong negative emotion and there are some things that just matter a whole lot more than others so when you feel strong negative emotion just say to yourself I must really care about this and I must be really brooding about it in an unproductive way and I must be far away from the perception or the perspective that my inner being holds about it and just do your best to talk yourself off the ledge so let's couple because we like the 
emphasis on the word satisfied now we want to put emphasis on another word soothing because you are all capable of more self-soothing than you actually apply you're too quick to be mad at yourself so if you just decide that you want to soothe yourself and why because I want to be in the receptive mode and what does that mean I want to be satisfied so what I want to soothe myself into satisfaction so how's that easiest to think about the subject to brood about the subject or to let it go so maybe this is a good time for meditation or a good time for a distraction or something like that I have a great distraction story it's a very short one I was in a bad state and uh... I was um, needing to because you were trying too hard I was trying too hard I was but I was yes I was but I was just in a, in a bad mood and I was trying to get over it I was trying to like let it go a little bit at the same time I'm also trying at the to same plan time a, you're trying to get it to the bottom of it well yes <laughs> probably <laughs> yeah. that's what we mean by stewing yeah, yeah. on something yeah stewing on it trying to establish your position in a stronger way or, or trying to explain we want to hear your story but we want to go back to the story about Esther she so wanted that man to understand she did not mean to do that that was the part that bothered her the most that anyone would think that she would just ruthlessly chop down trees to selfishly get her view she doesn't do it that way she sends lightning strikes and things of that nature it's just a distraction story I was planning a birthday at the same time I was writing myself a little email to remember to buy balloons and um, you can use I could use an emoji to put a uh, it, it offered me an emoji to put a red balloon to remind myself balloons I thought well I'm sending myself a note to send a, an emoji of a balloon to myself and it was just like it was just a passing thought like a really short passing thought went and laid down outside looking up at the sky and I saw this bird flying up over the sky and it's way up there and then there was a red balloon that flew across the sky and I just and it just like my heart opened and just you know, I went oh this you know sometimes it comes need a from, reminder needed a reminder that it, I mean but it was a it was a red balloon way up there in the sky. so I just Thank you. I, I love this morning's story. It's nice to know that not only does your inner being know where you are in relationship to everything, no matter how grand or small it seems, your inner being is aware of you and not just, not just interested in showing you what to do, but so satisfied and so enjoying the experience of co-creating with you. So it's this partnership where you explore and prod and give birth to things you're not ready for and then your inner being nurtures and gestates and gathers cooperative components while you sometimes chew longer and add more to it but then when there is this conscious awareness that you've created it and that it's ready for you whenever you're ready for it and then you stand in more often readiness that's really what we're wanting to talk about here you care more about deliberately creating an atmosphere around yourself a vibrational atmosphere that is conducive to seeing the red balloon go by that was your inner being absolutely giving you an impulse to go outside and kick back for a minute and if you had not followed that impulse you would have not have seen the balloon and the balloon message was such a clear message that we are always offering you ideas and impulses about the next path of least resistance it's always happening and so as you have experiences like that really satisfying experiences you would think that they would carry you through the not so satisfying experiences you would think that law of attraction would give you what is it on the millionaire game you could phone home or call a friend or there'd be some reprieve from when you get really stuck but there isn't because law of attraction is always 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 consistent and so the emphasis that we're wanting especially this body of evolved leaders and understanders of deliberate creation the emphasis that we want you to take away from this gathering is 
my work now my emphasis now the thing that I most want to be aware of is am I right now preparing an atmosphere that is receptive in nature and you know whether you are or aren't by how you feel and if you can say I must be because this is a really satisfying moment I must be because this is a really satisfying moment then what happens is those satisfying moments become more and more frequent until they are more and more dominant and then people who are watching you think that you have some magic wand because things are always working out for you in such remarkable ways it's almost jaw-dropping Jerry and Esther used to say to each other and Esther says it to a lot of friends now I'm so glad we were here together because no one would have believed that well whether they saw it or believed it or not they wouldn't have had the understanding of knowing how significant it was because that's the relationship you have between you and your inner being so as that is the relationship that you are fostering all the time so that you and your inner being have this relationship where you know the meaning of what they're guiding you to because you see your inner being always gets you that's the thing that we really want to emphasize the thing that trips almost all of you up the thing that you're looking for the most is wanting or needing validation from some other and when you're looking for it in other humans you're looking for that love in all the wrong places because they might be tuned in and tapped in and turned on and they might not and if they aren't when you look if they aren't when you ask then you develop these patterns of disappointment that there must not be something positive to be seen because they didn't see it but you can't blame the fact that they didn't see it because you can't control the mood that they were in so if you're asking someone to see something that they're not in the vibrational vicinity of they're not going to see it where your inner being always sees it your inner being will always give you that validation so if you want to feel heard and we know you do we hear so much explaining and rationalizing and justifying you do to one another you so want to be understood Esther rehearsed a spiel to a man that she never actually rendezvoused with <laughs> it was so good she should write a book about what to say when you think you're in trouble <laughs> so your inner being is always 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 ready to float a balloon past always ready you just got to be laying out there and looking up you got to be in that satisfied place really really good yeah.